Hi friends, it's Rosalie with Life Tips. It's time for some more music practice tips. Here's something I've been into lately. It's called highlighter tape. It helps kids focus in on trouble spots in their music. Heck, I like to use it for myself too. Anyway, the highlighter tape is easily removable. And you know how gratifying it is to take that tape off when you've mastered that spot? Of course, don't worry, there will always be another spot you can put tape on. Next, this is what one of my students lovingly called the stick of death. This is for when you need to encourage repetition, if repetition is what is needed. So, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> Here's another version. These are called Zuki beads. I wish I could find more of these. They're fabulous. Here's another repetition game we'll sometimes play. You choose a square as a starting point and then choose your destination. Okay, you did a good one. Take a step forward. Another good one. Take a step forward. Another good one. Take a step forward. Another one. And finally, hooray! Granted, that game doesn't work very well if you're playing cello or piano or something. But if you're playing an instrument where you stand, then that one works really well. Here's another little tool I will use sometimes if a kid has a hard time concentrating. Let's see. See if you can get three in a row. Good job. You got one. You got two. Uh-oh, you messed up. Let's try again. And we try to get three in a row. When I was a kid, I had a Disney one that had five. So we'd go for five in a row. This is just to help with concentration. Last but not least, if you're going to use a metronome, digital or otherwise, make sure it's a super loud one and preferably one that is visual where you can see it coming, not just a flashing light. You know, just like watching a conductor's beat, you can see it and anticipate it. And so you're going to be much better off anticipating a beat that you can see coming. This, I'll link this one below. It's really loud. Pretty loud, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good and not very expensive. It's just a wind-up one. So I've been enjoying this one lately. But even if you get a digital one, make sure it's super loud and that you can see the beat coming. So there are a few more music practice tips. Happy practicing!